So you're thinking about making a move to Cohasset, which is a suburb south of Boston, and you want to know everything that there is to know about living in Cohasset, like where it is, what makes it special, where are the good shops and restaurants, but you also want to hear some of the possible downsides, so you know the full story of Cohasset, and whether it's worth your consideration. Well, you're in luck, because that is what we're going to talk about today. But first, real quick. My name is Jeff Chuff, and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a thousand houses. We get calls, texts, and emails from folks just like you who are looking to make a move or sell their home in the Boston metro area, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next nine or 90 days, it doesn't matter. Give us a call, shoot us an email, or stop by YouTubeRealEstateAgent.com and fill in your information, then we'll reach out to you. Cohasset is located about 20 miles southeast of Boston. It's surrounded by the towns of Hall to the north, Hingham to the west, Situate to the south, and the Atlantic Ocean to the east. Ultimately, what makes Cohasset special with its location and proximity to the ocean is also what can be its downfall to others. But I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here. The town is serviced by the commuter rail. However, many residents will drive to the Hingham Shipyard and take the ferry into Boston. Driving into the city would take anywhere from 45 minutes on days without traffic to an hour and 15 minutes or more, depending on the misery that we call 93. Residents don't really consider parts of the town neighborhoods. They are more areas, if you will. You have the village and or the harbor area, which is the area that's close to the downtown and the harbor. You have the area that is south of town that goes down South Main Street, subsequently the area north of town, which goes up North Main. The area by Black Rock Beach, and then the area by Beachwood, and I guess the area by Sandy Beach. Don't get me wrong, there are neighborhoods like Linden Drive or Fair Oaks, but the town is mostly made up of small streets with a small collective of homes on them. Let's get into some of the pros and cons that Cohasset has. So the pros. The first pro is the quintessential New England town. When you think of New England towns, then I think Cohasset would fall almost exactly in the category of what you would imagine. Small town with essentially one through fair, a local bank, a couple local restaurants and some shops, then a large harbor with quite a few lobster boats plus an actual lobster pound. It's not the biggest town, but it seems to have enough of what residents need. You won't find any huge stores like grocery stores. It's the small mom and pop shops, if you will. Small town community with a lot of pride. Coasset's not a big town. I guess to some that could be a negative, but if you talk to the residents of the town, then I would think that this is one of the reasons why they choose to live there. For a small town, they tend to at least try to lean into their punch to make it a big punch. The town's quick to celebrate school sports teams that win a state championship or quick to support a family that's going through a tragedy. They also have things like a weekly farmer's market in the summer and a holiday stroll around Christmas or even a school class get together at the beach. But again, I'm getting a little ahead of my skis mentioning the beach. Green space and recreational opportunities. Cohasset has a pretty good chunk of green space and also has some great recreational opportunities for residents to enjoy. There's Wheelwright Park, Whitney and Thayer Woods, and Wabatock State Park if walking trails in nature is your thing. They have a couple playgrounds for kids plus two additional dog and kids' playgrounds, which would be the beaches. Boy, it's hard to talk about what makes this town amazing without getting deep on the beaches, but we're going to get to that, I promise. Other recreational activities include sailing and rowing, as well as motorboating. Now, Cohasset Harbor. Cohasset Harbor is beautiful, and it's actually getting better. They're currently redeveloping it. The redevelopment will have more stores and restaurants, plus a harbor walk for nice and peaceful strolls. You have the Cohasset Yacht Club, Cohasset Sailing Club, and the Cohasset Maritime Institute as well. Waterfront and beaches, and this is what I've been waiting for. If towns had middle names, then water would be it. Cohasset is a town that is rich with natural beauty from its Gold Coast line that winds along Jerusalem and Atlantic Avenue. Cohasset has two beaches, Sandy Beach and Rocky Beach. Want to take some guesses as to what those beaches are like? Both beaches are private, but public beaches in the sense that they're available for Cohasset residents, but not for anyone who does not live in town. Sandy Beach is a wide sandy beach that many kids and parents enjoy in the summer months. In the summer, it has lifeguards as well as a bathhouse with a beloved snack shack. Friday nights are quite a sight with families bringing some takeout and posting up for some leisure while the kids run around and play. Schools. 
Coasset was recently ranked as the 21st top school district in Massachusetts by U.S. News. This would make them the number one school district on the South Shore and ranked 672 nationally. Coasset has a 100% graduation rate with a 81% math proficiency rate, 89% reading proficiency rate, and 80% science proficiency. To put these numbers in perspective, the state average is 50% for math and 60% for reading and science. It's a small school system as it's a small town. The school size is in the low 400 count with a teacher to student ratio of one teacher for every 11 students. Osgood School, which services pre-K through second grade, then you got Deer Hill, which is grades third through fifth, and then you have Coasset Middle High School, which takes you from six all the way through 12. While the middle and high school are separated, they are, however, in the same building. And that leaves us to the suburban oasis. What is the best pro of this town? Well, it's also one which could be a little controversial in the sense that it could be what people actually dislike about this town. It's spread out. It's a small town suburban oasis. It's a town where it feels like everyone knows everyone's business, but that is what also gives it the small town care community feel as well. If you like neighborhood density, then you're not going to like Cohasset as the houses are a little bit more spread out. It's a town where kids will bike to school or downtown to get some candy or a sandwich at the Barrel Convenience Store. This is the best part of the town, but you have to be looking for and wanting that specifically. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you live though, there are always some downsides. So let's talk about the downsides of Cohasset that you should consider if you're moving here. Convenience. Cohasset's a lot of things, but convenient it is not. It's a pain to get to, and once you're there, you have to jump in the car for everything. Yes, yeah, so you can get to Boston by car, train, and if you drive to Hingham, then by boat as well, but it's a commute that you may need to mentally toughen yourself up for, especially in those winter months. Residents would say that the pristine location by the sea makes all worthwhile, though. And then there's commuting to the city. We just touched on it, but commuting to the city, it's not easy. The easiest way is probably just heading to the train parking lot and jumping on the MBTA commuter rail, which takes you directly into South Station. The most enjoyable way is probably getting in the car and heading over to the Ingham shipyard and, well, jump it on the ferry that dumps you into Boston at Rose Wharf. Plus, the ferry has a bar, which I hear is the favorite feature coming home. Then there's traveling by car. While the car provides you convenience of going exactly where you want to go and the ability to leave whenever you want, you got to pay for that convenience sitting in some not so enjoyable traffic. 45 minutes by car to Boston with no traffic, hour and 15 with bad track. It is safe to say as an average. Shopping and dining. There isn't a whole lot of shopping in Glasset. Yes, as I said, there are some small boutique shops. There are two grocery stores, but get ready to jump in the car. Become Amazon's number one if you're wanting some new sneakers as an example. And then it comes to dining. Cohasset has some great restaurants, just not a lot of them. Bia's or Red Lion Inn will knock your socks off. Then there's Old Salt House, Salty Days, or the Corner Stop, which are great places to grab a meal. They have some great restaurants, just not a ton of them. Job opportunities. This is a commuter town. You most likely won't be living and working in this town. Well, I guess unless you're able to work from home, you might be able to. There are a couple of businesses here, but for the most part, people commute to Boston or other surrounding cities for work. Types of housing. There isn't a whole lot of housing diversity in Cohasset. It's primarily all single family homes. If that's your thing and what you're looking for, then throw this one up in the pro section. But condos and multifamily properties are few and far between. Expensive. Cohasset, it isn't cheap. All those positives that we talked about tend to create a high demand for this town, which equates to a big ticket price. Year to date, the median sales price is $1,550,000, and this is compared to the $600,000 median sales price in Massachusetts. Again, Cohasset, it's not cheap, and man, does that cost jump up if it has even a smidgen of a water view. To say it another way, Cohasset is one of the most expensive towns in Massachusetts. Again, my name is Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Home Steve. I hope you found this video helpful and it was helped you make the decision as to whether Cohasset is a place that you would like to call home. We'd absolutely love to help you in any way. If you have any questions, then give us a call, shoot us an email, or visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com. You can also find all of my contact information in the description below, and we will give you any additional information that will help you make the decision as to whether making a move to the Cohasset area is right for you. Until next time.